Hi, my name is Sarah Tobin, creator of Tapping for Mums. I am a tapping or emotional freedom technique therapist, and my goal is to spread tapping as far and wide as possible around the world to help people feel empowered to heal themselves and release their own emotions. Now, tapping is something that mums and adults use all the time around the world, but it is also an amazing technique for kids. And as this is in early February, 2021, it is also Children's Mental Health Awareness Week. I am doing a video for you today with a script that hopefully will help you share tapping with your kids. On my website, www.tappingformums.com, in my blog, there is also a link for tapping with kids. So tips for you on how to bring tapping to your kids at home. So what I've got for you today is a little tapping video that you can demonstrate or mimic to your kids. And it's about feeling angry or grumpy, but you could actually replace any of these emotions with any emotion that they are feeling, if they can verbalize it. If they can't verbalize it, you can still do tapping. You can do silent tapping. So just tapping, demonstrating tapping, getting them to copy, playing a game of Simon Says, and see if that will calm them down. Um, what tapping does, for those who don't know, is it stimulates the sympathetic nervous system. So it switches off the flight, fight, freeze and brings you back into rest, regeneration, recovery. So really switching off the adrenaline and the cortisol in the body. That is the key to tapping. Um, and that's why it, you feel it working. It really is an instant switch. I tap with my boys, they're five and three. Now I'm not at the stage where they're copying what I say yet, but we do silent tapping. At night time they lie down and they ask for tapping, I will tap on their spine. Either so, I have a little teddy here to show you. Either side of the spine, starting with the top of the neck, and I tap all the way down to the top of their bum and all the way back up again. Sometimes they like tapping on the head or maybe some tapping on the face. Okay, so it's the eyebrow, side of the eye, under the eye, under the nose, and on the chin. And then the collarbone points, these are here, under the bones, so the soft fleshy part under the bones. So these are the points that I would do with kids. There's more points for adults. So firstly, I will actually put the words to this in the notes so you can have a go yourself and adapt it for what you think is relevant for your situation at home. What I want you to tell them is that these two fingers are their magic wand and they've got magic inside them and they access it by breathing through their heart in and out three times. So in and out, in and out, in and out. Now their magic is activated and they use their wand, their two fingers to tap on the magic spots on their head, which will help release all the negative emotion up to the clouds and up to the sky. So feeling angry and grumpy tapping on the top of their head. I feel angry. I feel so grumpy. So grumpy and cross. So angry. I don't like being this angry and grumpy. But I know it's okay to have these feelings. Now they can tap with one hand or two hands. Either hand is fine, it's a very forgiving tool. Okay, so they can tap on both sides or one side with their magic wand. I wish I didn't feel this grumpy or angry. I want these feelings to go. So I send all this anger up to the clouds now. I send all this grumpiness up to the sky. The wind comes and blows all these feelings away. It's safe to let them all go now. It's 
feeling less angry, less grumpy. Seeing a rainbow come down into my head. All the happy colours of the rainbow. I'm feeling happy now. I'm feeling relaxed. Feeling calm and safe. Saying goodbye to all these grumpy feelings. I feel happy and smiley now. I feel great. Closing down your magic heart now. In and out. In and out. In and out. Zipping all the way up. All the way up. Keeping all those happy feelings inside. Okay, so that's an example of how you can teach kids how to do tapping. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you already do tapping with kids. Any other advice that you could share with us, that would be amazing. Um, just remember, it's a really, really difficult time for our kids and for us right now. You know, the emotions are flying and it's important to know that all of our emotions within us and our children are valid. Even if it's hard to listen or to have to hold space for or even to experience ourselves. So, you know, letting them, acknowledging their feelings is really important, even if it's difficult and we're exhausted. And even if we have to come back, even if we react badly at the time and come back to them and say, look, I know you're sad and that's okay. You know, it, giving them some acknowledgement is really, really important. Um, thank you for listening. If you would like to sign up for more tapping advice um, for yourself, and you can get a tapping script template and a how to tap guide. Sign up for my newsletter and very soon I will be launching something very exciting. So you will get first dibs on that and any discounts and things that are coming your way. So thank you for listening. Please share with anyone you think that would help um, or that would respond well to tapping or to tapping with their children. Um, tapping is great for children who don't and aren't able to express their emotions. I know that my son, my eldest, his emotional centre is switched on, but there is no connection from his emotional centre to his brain and then his throat. Or my other son, his brain and his throat are really switched on. So he will tell me, my three-year-old will tell me exactly what's going on with him. And my five-year-old will kick and scream <laughs> and not able to verbalise. So you know, where your child isn't able to vocalise what's happening internally, maybe silent tapping is something that you can do with them, even if you're just saying something to them and they can just copy. You could just be, I love myself. I'm such a good boy or such a good girl or mommy and daddy love me. Mommy and daddy love me. Even though I'm angry, mommy and daddy still love me. Okay, that's a nice one. And I'm safe. Mummy and daddy love me and I am safe. Something really small and simple might be a way to start. But I will write these up into the notes and hopefully you will find them useful. And again, please share, like, comment and yes, hopefully see you here again soon. Lots of love.